I have two Goyards in front of me. One is in GM size in blue and the other is in PM size in black. Make a guess on which one is the authentic Goyard and which one is the non-authentic one. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Gorillas and Heels. Today I'll be sharing with you 14 tips that can potentially help you identify a non-authentic Goyard. I've read articles saying that 80% of second-hand Goyards circulating out there are not authentic, so you need to be extra careful, especially if you're looking to buy it secondhand. Let me first tell you which one is the authentic bag. So the black PM bag, this is the authentic version and the GM bag in blue, this is the non-authentic version. For the purposes of this video, I will also be referencing my grey Goyard St. Louis PM which is also authentic. So these two bags are authentic um, because the stitching on the grey is contrast stitching so I will be able to point out the differences more clearly. And this GM bag, this is the non-authentic one. I need to thank my friend for lending me this bag. She bought it for research purposes and we had a lot of fun comparing the differences between both. So let's get started. Let's start with the pochette. I feel like the biggest giveaways can be found on the pochette because this is it's often overlooked because it's found inside the bag and people typically just look at the outside of the bag when you're purchasing. Tip number one is to look at the Goyard button. So if you open the flap and if you look on top, the button should say Goyard Paris. For the fake version, you will see that the button says Goyard Goyard and the position of the button is super important. So Goyard Paris should be upright. It should not be tilted in any way or form. For some of the fake versions, even though the button says Goyard Paris, the button can be tilted or not positioned correctly. The second tip to look out for is under the button, there should be a font saying Goyard Paris made in France. So the fake version that I have here also says Goyard Paris made in France, but if you look at the font, the font is very different. So for the authentic version, it should be very refined. It's kind of thin and flat, whereas for the non-authentic versions, um, you can see that the spacing between the alphabets are not equally spaced and it's a lot more thick and tall. So that's the second giveaway. Tip number three is the position of the button in front of the pochette. I know this is not super clear, but if you look at the authentic versions of the pochettes, the bottom of the button should be about 1.5 centimeters to the edge of the flap. If you look at the non-authentic version, you can tell that the button is positioned a little bit higher versus the authentic one, so it's about 2 centimeters. This is very, very subtle and may not be immediately obvious. Tip number four, it would be the closure of the buttons. So if you look at the button right here where the flap closes, the smooth version has a button closure where it's smooth, there are no lines on it. Whereas if you look at the non-authentic version, you can see that there are lines and patterns on the button itself. So this is another tip that you can look out for. Tip number five. Now let's move on to the back of the pochette. So you can see that there is a strap that's attached to the pochette and there's a little piece of leather here. If you look at the stitching closely, the authentic version, you can tell that the stitching is very short and sharp. So if you look at the stitching of this leather piece, it's four stitchings by three stitchings um, and it makes like a nice rectangle. Whereas if you look at the non-authentic version, the stitching is much wider and less refined. You can see that there are pieces of thread sticking out and the stitching here is three by two. So the stitching on the authentic version is a lot shorter and tighter. Tip number six, still staying in the back of the pochette. If you open up the flap at the back, the stitching really gives it away. So you can tell with the authentic version, the stitching is still very, very neat, even at the areas where it's unseen. So the flaps at the side, this part on top, they are not stitched down to the flap, so it makes it easy for you to open the back pouch. Whereas if you look at the non-authentic version, you can see that the stitching gets very messy in the areas that are unseen. And the leather straps on the sides are completely stitched to the back of the pouch. Tip number seven, let's move on to the leather attachment, which attaches the pochette to the bag itself. So in the authentic versions, you will see that in both my grey and black um, PM totes, the leather is really, really soft. And if you look at the sides of the leather, it's 
I wouldn't say it's raw aged, but leather is more natural, it's very soft, it's not as plasticky. Whereas if you look at the non-authentic version, the leather is very thick and hard. And if you look at the sides of the leather, it's perfect. So it's perfectly sealed and it feels very rubbery. Tip number eight, that is the D-ring, which attaches the leather to the pochette. For the real versions, the authentic versions that I have, the D-ring moves quite easily. So you can move the D-ring around and you can see that you know it's quite flexible. Whereas for the non-authentic versions, I can't even move the D-ring. It's, it's almost fixed in that position and it's very, very tightly secured. The next tip to look out for is the ring. There's a ring around the leather attachment. So you can tell that this little ring, um, it's made of the same leather where it's very soft and supple. Um, it's very flexible as well. And there is a stitching that attaches this ring together. Now, if you look at the non-authentic versions, sometimes you won't even see a ring. But in this version, there is a ring, but you can tell that it's not round. So it's stitched in a very slipshod manner. It's not round and again, it's not supple. Um, it's not a perfect circle, so it sticks out like this. I'm not sure if you can see, but yes, this is another sign that the bag is not authentic and not well made. Tip number nine, still staying on the leather strap. You will see that close to the D-ring, there is a metal portion here. So in the authentic version, if you flip to the back, you can see that the backing of the metal is completely flat. It's just one shiny silver circle. Whereas if you look at the non-authentic version, you'll see that there is a kind of like a, a cross pattern on it. So this is another giveaway sign that this is a non-authentic Goyard. So tip number 10, let's move on to authentication numbers. So in the very old versions of Goyard, the authentication number can be found inside the pochette. But for the newer versions, um, I bought both my Goyards in the year 2017. Um, they can be found on the underside of the flap here. So Goyard's authentication numbers should come with three alphabets and then six numbers. And the font is not that big. It's not very obvious. Now in the non-authentic versions, there might be numbers as well, but you can see that they are either stamped in the wrong place or the font just looks off. So in this in this fake version that I have, you can tell that the numbers are printed on the front side instead of the back side of the leather strap. And the numbers just look very big and very obvious. It's printed very strongly on the leather strap, but should not be the case. So two giveaways here, the font as well as the place that is positioned there. Tip number 11 would be the seams of the bag. So if you hold your tote upright like this, you can tell that next to the seam, the canvas is really soft and it forms a straight line. It doesn't bulge up in any way. So this is um, evidence of good workmanship. Whereas if you look at the non-authentic Goyard, if I hold the bag up, I know it's not immediately obvious, but you can tell that the canvas kind of curves and pops out next to the seam. The material of the bag is just not the same, so you can tell that it's not as smooth and there are bumps along the seams. Tip number 12, um, this is not immediately apparent from pictures. You would only know if you feel it. So if you look at the authentic Goyard, the inside is a mixture of very high quality cotton and linen. So the material just feels very luxurious and natural. Whereas if I run my fingers on the inner fabric of this non-authentic Goyard, it feels very rough and the material feels slightly synthetic. So you know when you buy clothing, if when you touch the material, sometimes you can tell when the material is synthetic and doesn't feel very good. This is what it feels like on the non-authentic version. So you can't really tell from pictures. I feel for this one, you really need to feel the bag. Tip number 13 would be the stitching on the attachment of the handles. I've seen a lot of super fakes and they're really getting better and better. Um, but if you look at the authentic version, you can tell that the attachment of the handle, there is a double stitching on the top stitch and the last two stitches right and everything else is single stitched for the non-authentic version you can tell that it's not very consistent for here the upper stitches have double stitching on the top two stitches and then double stitching on the last three stitches so that's another inconsistency that we've found 
And the very, very last tip, which for me, for this bag, it was the biggest giveaway that it's not authentic, is the handles. So if you look at the authentic version of the Goyard bag, the handles are very, very soft and supple. Um, and similar to what I pointed out earlier, if you look at the size of the handle, it's not perfect. It's not rubbery. Um, you can still see elements of the natural leather and it's malleable, right? It's not that stiff. Whereas if you look at this blue GM Goyard, the moment I held the handles, I knew immediately that this was not authentic because the edge of the leather is too perfect. You see, you can tell that the edges are very rubbery. It's very stiff and the handles do not feel lightweight. They do feel a little bit heavy. So these are the 14 tips which I hope that you found useful. I know there are lots of articles out there talking about the chevron print of the bag and how the chevrons, you know, you can find giveaways here. But this is really a super fake and for this version, I really could not find any difference between the authentic and non-authentic version. If you're looking to buy a Goyard secondhand, be extra careful. Remember to ask for lots of pictures, especially for areas that are not immediately obvious to the eye. So the leather straps, the attachments, the pochette and the buttons. I also did a version on tips of how to authenticate a Chanel. So do check that video if you have not already. I hope that you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Have a great week ahead and goodbye.